Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to bring all the even numbers from 0 to 100 in C sharp but in reverse. So basically what my first video taught but in reverse. And this video was of course a request by Kalvinder Singh who left a comment on my um, you know, my first video ever on YouTube saying can you show me how to print all the even numbers from 0 to 100 in C sharp but in reverse. So I think he basically meant uh, 100, 98, 96 like that. So let's get to our program right here. So this is the basic program. I'm going to erase this just for your understanding. So this is what your basic C sharp program looks like. And this is of course a console application. So first of all, go here and go using system dot collections generic. And this is a very important namespace for this video. And now go inside your class and just go static list of integers called even numbers till 100 to go to a new list of integers so we are basically instantiating it right here so now go inside your static void main function which basically um, this main function basically executes everything inside it so now go for integer i is equal to 100 actually not zero i'm sorry for that i'm messing up so for integer i is equal to 100 as long as i is greater or equal to zero i minus minus and now just go inside uh, another parenthesis just go if i modulo 2 is double equals 0 just do even numbers till 100 dot add i and what this if statement basically does is that if i divided by 2 leaves the remainder of 0 meaning it is even of course because every even number is divisible by 2 that's how they are classified as well so if this is an even number we just add it to the list so now and in the last just to print these out let's go for each integer i in even numbers to 100 we're going to go console the right line console the right line i and the end of course add a console the readme just so our program doesn't close us and this should work right here and the reason on uh, why i declared this as a static list is because we need to use it inside our static void main function so just because main is a static method we also need to define this list as a static object so now let's check if our program is working fine and yes it did print, print all the even numbers from 0 to 100 in reverse so that's basically what the program is i'll of course um paste the program in the description so if you don't have time to you know watch the video you can just copy it out so thanks for watching uh Kalvinder, i hope you found this helpful and if you found this helpful uh you can share it and like it and share among your friends and that's basically it for this video i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching and goodbye